r slash ask credit by redify who is the most delusional person you've known my cousin has insisted to my family that i get exorcised because i'm gay and autistic she thinks that only the devil himself can corrupt someone to this extent the only problems with her theory are that i'm neither gay nor autistic and she's the one touched by satan the only problems with her theory is that i'm neither gay nor autistic i died reading this tell your cousin i say thanks on feo i laughed harder than i should have on feo or shouldn't have laughed at all guy at my college thought he was god's gift to women just because he worked out daily he looked more like an albino dwayne johnson with curly hair it was like Casper took steroids and started hitting on anything that moved. That last sentence really made me feel like I could hate him and be justified in doing so. I love unrepentant assholes that I can take out all of the rage I have stored up from my day to day life. Met a guy in the psych ward with psychosis who believed he was a prophet. Really nice guy. I have a quote written by him. Madness is not pure error, it is nature's dissatisfaction with genius. My grandmother was a nurse in a psych ward years ago, and she encountered a patient who was convinced he was the second coming of Jesus. He even talked like Jesus. She said, if I hadn't known he was nuts, I might have believed him. This is how the real second coming of Jesus failed. I work in a small town radio station. I've seen lots of rookies fresh out of broadcast school let the tiny amount of fame they get from being on a small town radio station go to their head. This one guy came into work one day. Madder than hell that small town radio famous wasn't famous enough to get him out of a speeding ticket. This reminds me of that American Dad episode with the school radio. Edit. Holy cow 550 upvotes. My most upvoted comment. Edit x2. Thanks for the gold. I do the announcements. I am the second coming. Known personally. Has to be my grandmother who would tell me to lower my voice, because the Jews will hear you. Same woman who was furious, when she asked her son, to go and buy some Christmas lights for the shrubs outside the house. And he came home with some very pretty blue net lights. She screamed. At the top of her voice. Blue is a Jew color. I don't even know what she was afraid of. We, Jewish people. She never articulated it. Edited to at, I wasn't even talking about Jewish people, when she told me to keep my voice down. I was a little kid. I was probably talking about Sailor Moon or Pokemon or something. She was right. We heard you. It's all recorded in the big blue book. I knew it. I bet that boy band blue were unions as well. The pastor of a church who believed that he was God's gift to preaching. Even though attendance was dropping precipitously. When told that his sermons were too long and meandering. And that the people wanted more prayer to God instead. He replied. People don't come to church for God they come to hear what I have to say. Guess who's going to hell for pride. Sweet. Sweet irony. I spent the first 11 months of my army career with this one guy who had absolutely no idea that everybody hated him. He had this horrible personality where he talked too loud. Said duck all the time. Stole it and duck with people's stuff and just seemed kind of like an alien trying to mimic heterosexual male interactions. But the alien had only studied bad sports movies and war films. He was incredibly cringy. Guy was raised by a single mother that clearly allowed him to get away with anything, and in the 11 months I knew him. I never once heard him take responsibility for anything. An example. We'll call him PH for dialogue purposes. We're in the lunch line. And he gets a big bowl of clam chowder soup. He spills a little over the side of the bowl, and onto the tray. And we are like ah. Oh, looks like you spilled a bit. Keep in mind. We saw him spill it. PH. No. I didn't spill it. Me. Who spilled it. PH. Duck. I don't duck in no I guess someone duck in knock me, and made the bowl spill. As said. He swore all the time. You know you swear too much when a bunch of army dudes think you swear too much. Yeah. Literally can't take responsibility for spilling a little bit of soup on a tray. As said. Though. The most delusional aspect of his personality was his complete inability to accept that nobody liked him. When our final course, combat engineer training, finished and we were all about to get posted off to our respective units and bases across the country. 
he'd always talk about how he was going to hang with the people who were going the same place as him, and maybe be roommates with one of them. To the man. Each one of them never wanted to see him ever again. It took on average about two weeks from the point of meeting him to completely despise him. And he was never once aware of, or willing to admit this. As said by one of our sergeants at the end of our course. At the course party, that kid's a ducking lunatic. Couldn't have said it better myself. Are you talking about Arja? Isn't it funny how we all love Arja? But if he were real, and we were friends with him, we would just think he's a dick. My father. This dude fell for the Nigerian prince spam. Twice. He believes every single conspiracy theory he hears. He thinks God cured him of autism. Which vaccines gave him. He is by far the dumbest person I know, or have ever known. But he thinks he's a genius. Edit, a few conspiracy theories he believes. The US used holograms of demons, to fight in Vietnam and that's why we lost. Because it made God mad. There's a secret cabal working towards a one world government. And they regularly have people killed. All the scientists in the world, conspire to fake evidence of evolution, to lead people away from Christ. Colleges are set up by the one world government cabal, to brainwash people into sinning. He's an anti-vaxxer. He believes that chemtrails are real, and not only target people, but also target ecosystems, so the scientists can use it as proof of global warming. He thinks Hillary has people who testify against her killed. He thinks Hillary Clinton had John F. Kennedy Jr. killed, and so many more. Give me your father's email please. I will contact him, and get these Nigerian scammers. But first I will need to confirm our trust. So I will deposit 250 euros, 000 to him right away. And when we catch those guys, he will get all his money plus 10%. I only ask for a small fee to help me leave this country. By the way, I'm not Nigerian. I need your help. To where do I send the monies? I've mentioned him in my comments many times before he's my boyfriend's best friend in the whole world. And he's a ducking nutter. Sometimes it's funny to hear him explain his theories, but other times it's just sad and frustrating. I care about him, but often worry that he may be mentally ill. A few examples. The earth is flat, and that NASA and all other scientists are in on the secret and want to keep it from the public. They don't want us to know, because it somehow directly proves God's existence and they don't want that. All ice cream starts as vanilla ice cream. Until you add flavors to it, he thinks that the absence of added flavor is vanilla. The government uses airplanes to spray us all with metal particles that make people have autism. Also related, he doesn't believe that regular clouds are made out of water vapor. He thinks that semen never leaves the female body after sexual intercourse, and that it collects in the uterus somewhere. If a woman has ex with multiple men over the course of her life, then her child will genetically be a mixture of all of those men. This is why he thinks God wants us to only have X with our husband slash wife. Do I even need to keep going? I think you get the picture. Edit, as requested. Here's a few more. Prior to his flat earth theory, when he still believed in space and NASA and Wartnet, he saw a photo of what looked like the claw slash hand of a Jurassic Park dinosaur in the corner of a photo taken from Mars. This was clearly a clickbait bullet internet photo. But he believed it to be real. He said I think they got the whole creature on camera. But they are just showing us a hand. So that we don't all freak out at once. He told me that he thought a keto diet was just fat. Yes. You read that right. Just fat. I told him that's borderline impossible. Because if you were to just eat fat you'd be eating essentially just olive oil and butter. So not only would you eat your brains out, but you'd also never get any vitamins or nutrients. Which you need to live. He didn't understand. In a religious debate, how can you prove that Christianity is a religion of truth, if every religion believes it is a truth? I told him it isn't solid evidence to use the Bible. Because most religions have their own sacred scriptures that refute the Bible. If everyone believes their book, using yours won't make a difference. He told me I was being hormonal, and that that's why I didn't see eye to eye with him. Satisfied yet? Alright a few more. Because it feels great to get a chance to share some of these. He recently informed me that God taught him that watering your grass will make it green. I told him 
that that was just standard lawn maintenance and general knowledge. But argued that only those who know the Lord take the time to water their lawns. He doesn't understand what door-to-door -door salesmen are. One was at his house asking his grandfather, the home he are winner, for some info to complete an order he was making. He wanted his name, phone number, and exact address. My friend thought this was incredibly suspicious, that he just showed up, even though the guy had on a uniform and a marked vehicle, so he called the cops who were very confused when they arrived. He firmly believes that fat people are fat because of cake. Not trans fats. Not excess sugar. Not hidden calories and misleading portion sizes, just cake. If you pry further he'll explain that there's no way you can go where you can't buy some form of cake. It's delicious. And horrible for you. That's why people are so fat cake is too yummy and too easy to get. When I tried to tell him that in a way, he's right. But it's more of an issue of junk food, rather than just cake he said you wouldn't know cause you've never been fat. I have. So I would know. We lend this with my boyfriend's favorite he thinks that the birds outside his window are watching him. Keep in mind. His house is two floors, and he is on the second floor. Which is right at eye level with the tree in their front yard. Which has a huge bird feeder. And yet he thinks that for whatever reason these birds are obsessed with him, and watch him 24 over 7. It's the vanilla ice cream one that's really bothering me. To be honest that's what I used to think, when I was like, 4. My aunt, my mom's sister. She constantly stirs drama with other people, and then calls you out for being mean to her. WTF lady. For example. One time I came outside, and I see her pull up in her car. She starts chit-chatting to my mom. They are talking about her haircut. I tell my mom we needed to go, and she drove away shortly after. Totally fine. I get a call from another relative a week later, that she's angry with me, because the day she came over I rolled my eyes at her, and she reads lips. She knows I said something about her. This didn't happen. She then continues to post on social media how karma is gonna get me, while simultaneously commenting on all of my stuff saying how cute my daughter is delusion this is my aunt exactly she's also a drama queen i visit my family once a year for a week so i see my aunt and mom at the same time every year my aunt will cause some drama this year she launched into a casual conversation with me and just said you know your boyfriend kind looks like a rat told her that's not an okay thing to say she said the truth hurts to hear i got pissed off and left Next morning she waltzes in like nothing happened. Asks me to come give her a hug hello. I say no. Explaining that what she said was really hurtful. She then flips her it and starts screaming why are you always starting stuff up like this? We never get into fights when you're not here. You're always causing trouble. I was so shocked I just left. Oh Jesus I don't think I could continue having contact with someone like that. Make sure to like and subscribe so we can watch together.